again. We're back in the car. Can you tell? So a couple of things. This is day. It's Saturday. So day one, two, three, four, five, day six, <coughs> 500 calories. A little, a little trick I've learned and get a grande almond milk latte with one pump of whatever flavoring I want and it doesn't mess me up. Also, my hair is driving me bonkers. So I made that ranch dressing I was talking about in my last vlog and I like it. I think I made it a little too watery. So we'll see if I can thicken it up, otherwise I'll just do it again. Um, I can also do hard boiled, I can also do eggs more often than they say, so that's good. Um, I'm struggling today with food I don't have to like shove down my throat with water. I had some really great tacos earlier, um, and those were great, but by the time I get to the end of them, I am like taking a bite, chewing it, and then I have to drink water out of, this is my, oops, this is my Hydro Flask. I put all kinds of weird stickers on it, um, but it's like the, the 32 ounce one, but <coughs> I have the zipper lid, and so I'll take a bite of my taco by the time I get to the end of it, and then um, I can't swallow it because I'm going to gag, so I have to drink water with it. It's just how I've always been with some foods um, on this diet. So I'm loving apples and strawberries. We're good there. Hard boiled eggs are great. I th the scale said like seven different weights this morning, but it was an electric scale and I don't like electric scales at all. Like I don't like electric scales. I actually have like a doctor's office scale in my house. so. I use that, but I wasn't at my house today, so can you tell my hair is driving me bonkers? Um, yeah. So I had, I got um, some cabbage and kale like salad mix thing, and I put rotisserie chicken on it and part of an egg, <coughs> and then the cottage cheese dressing. And yes, it's mixing vegetables, and yes, it's mixing proteins, but don't worry, I didn't actually eat it. I ate the egg off of it, and then I ate the other eggs that I had along with apple. So I'm going to try to master that dressing. Um, I think the measurements got a little wackadoodle with the milk um, and the cottage cheese. I think I would like it a little thicker. And I'm supposed to use it all as a protein, but my scale wasn't working, so I didn't have exactly three and a half to four ounces. And I think that would be better. Like if it coated it, it would be better. We'll see. It's an experiment. So once I've got it mastered, I'll include the recipe. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm not super hungry. And if I am hungry, I drink a ton of water. I'll like finish another 32 ounce. Uh, so for something different, I do like sparkling smart water. Um, and I do love my coffee for sure. Anything else? Oh, I didn't show you the drops I'm using. I've used these for all the rounds that I've done, and I need to order. I mean, you can see that there's like, yeah, you can see that. Wait, there you go. You can see it right there. So it's official HCG diet plan, and you can even go to that.com. So official HCG diet plan.com. They're homeopathic HCG. Tasteless formula contains no alcohol. It's a four ounce bottle. Has vitamin B12 in it, magfos, and natfos. I don't know. Don't ask me. Um, and they stay forever. I mean, we've had them. The instructions here say adults take 10 drops under the tongue three times a day. Do not eat or drink 15 minutes before or after taking the drops. Allow drops to sit under the tongue for 30 seconds between before swallowing. To be used with Dr. Simeon's HCG diet planned 500 calorie protocol. Refrigeration is recommended, but I've also seen that they say just keep in a cool, dry place. Honestly, 
because I travel so much, I just have them in my purse. So, um, purpose to promote liver fat metabolizer and ad adrenal and thyroid health. I've never read that before. It's a little worn, so, but it looks like this. There you go. And yeah, that's a mirror image because I'm using my phone, um, and actually looking at myself. So, um, the phone number is for questions or to reorder, call 800-871-3767. And it says with B12 supplement, 800-871-3767. And I do believe that they offer, um, like overnight shipping. I need to order more cause I'm at the end of this bottle. Like really at the end. So I need to order more. <coughs> um, I'll do that once I'm done recording. But today has been a little rough with food. Sometimes I just don't like food, but I'm really, really working hard on a new relationship with food. Went to the grocery store today and I wanted everything. <laughs> everything. I wanted Wendy's yesterday, like bad. I super duper duper wanted Wendy's. Oh, and I could tell you everything I ordered from Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, in and out uh, Carl's Jr. don't really eat. Taco Bell I don't really eat, but I could order from there. Del Taco. Yeah, I could just tell you. I could tell you what I want with pizza. I mean, I didn't get fat for nothing. <laughs> Had some delicious foods. I'm really working on making HCG delicious. I'm really working on it. I have a cookbook that I have in my Amazon cart that I'm tempted to order and I think I'm going to. Um, and it's gourmet HCG. So I'm going to look at that. Um, that should help. That should help. But I did make some really, really good tacos today. It just, once I got to the third one, it was like, okay, texture. Like I can't keep eating this. So I took the shell off and just ate the meat and the, the, um, onion. I'm a super huge texture person. So that's, that's the trouble. Like that's why I want a creamy dressing because I don't like the, like the vinaigrette just is like a very thin feeling flavor and I, I want something thick on my salad. So that's just me. Um, yeah, just going to journal and just do my whole process and clue you guys in. I know, um, I watch HCG Chica a lot. You could subscribe to her. And all of her interviews and all of her stuff really helps me through a lot of this. So when I went into this, I was like, 60 days, I got it. And I'm on day six and I'm like, I still got it. Yeah, I got it. But there's moments when I'm like, I have to eat this for another 54 days. So I'm working really hard on finding some really good recipes um, without cheating at all. So just working around it. Um, my weight loss is still steady. Oh, also day six of drops, um, 500 calorie day six of drops. I feel great. My energy is fine. It's great. Um, I'm not hot and cold and hot and cold like I was the last time I vlogged and I'm not, um, like super weak at points. I'm sure it'll come back on a day that I'm like really tired, but for now it's fine and I feel good, um, and I'm enjoying most of the food. It's just sometimes I find textural issues for me. I'm very textural. I can't eat the same thing day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. I just can't do it. I could eat hard-boiled eggs forever though, but I don't want to eat those so many times on the diet, so on the protocol. So I can already tell that my face is thinner. Like I can see my knuckles again. That's really good. And I think in the first, I think I'm down like 22 pounds now, but my scale wasn't very accurate, the one I brought with me. Um, uh, oh, I think the weight that I regained after doing HCG a couple of times, that weight is, it feels like it's coming off first, like the fat is coming off first, like in my knuckles, you can see them again, like you couldn't see them before. And I can feel my, my like forearm bones, which is great. So... We'll see. We'll see. But for now, I enjoy my treat for the day. I look forward to this. I don't take it every day because I don't want the sugar every day. Um, 
and I don't need coffee every day, even though I feel like I do. I'm really working on my relationship with food. And I was listening to the book by Tony Robbins, um, Awaken the Giant Within. And he said, you just need to, you need to change, oh, what did he say? Something about your subconscious and the message that you send yourself. So the pleasure of eating, overeating and overeating junk and, you know, isn't pleasurable. It's painful. The pleasure comes in eating good foods for your body and how your body feels in that. You know, when we feel great, we notice it, but we don't notice it. You know, when we feel like crap, we super notice it. So he said, you know, you need to change the pleasure of eating all kinds of junky, gross, yucky food into pain. And it is painful. Like being this, this weight and being as heavy as some of us are, or some of us aren't, or, you know, whatever you feel is painful. So we need to program our brains to remember and to think when I eat that junk food, it's painful to me. It actually physically hurts. There is no pleasure in it. And so we need to reprogram our brains. So that's what I'm really trying to do. And sometimes it's exhausting and, and other times it's not, but it's totally rewarding. You know, when I'm eating my good foods, I'm telling myself, this is really good for me. This is pleasurable. This is something that I love to do. And when I, when I look at bad food, I think, Oh gosh, that makes me feel bad. And that makes me feel sick. And that, that, you know, makes my body hurt. And that, you know, being overweight is painful and having to shop so specifically for clothes is painful. I mean, I'm always going to have to shop specifically for clothes because I have big feet and I have big hands and I have big shoulders and I'm, I'm 5'11", you know, I'm always going to have to shop that way. But I don't have to shop for all of the weight I hold on my belly. You know what I mean? So I'm really working on that. <laughs> it's not easy every day, but I'm working on it. So anywho, um, I'll vlog again soon. And hopefully I'll master this ranch recipe so I can share it with you. We'll see. See you later.